In this video, I'm going to show you the whole project that we are going to go through in this course. So as you see, this is the first page. There will be a search. We'll come back to the search. There'll be some videos with duration, with channel name and some information like views and also, you know, the timeline and then you can log in or register. So if I go and register, for example, view user and we can say view at the test.com, maybe we can learn view the name of the channel and the channel will be created while I'm uh, registering a new user and then I'll put the password and then I will register and immediately this is registered with the channel if I go now here I can see the name of the channel and I can for example edit the channel if I am the owner of course I'm not the, if the owner I'm not going to edit so learn I put the description for example lane view js Okay, and then I say update, it will update my channel. And then I can also select one file. Let's assume I can select from this one. I can say go to this folder, which I'm having some files and put uh, this logo and I update. So if I go back to the channel name, now I have the channel logo and so on. So this is regarding uh, the channel. Now let's assume if I click on all videos, there is no videos, but if I go and select one video and let's assume I'm going to select this video, you know, it will go to this page for processing, but I need to run one command line for the queue. Okay, so it will listen for the job and then if you notice it will start processing the data and send me the progress immediately, it will create and you see without refreshing it's everything is done kind of real time using live wire this is very interesting in live wire so the processing now and back end also is going on for there are two jobs basically one for creating thumbnail and one for converting the file using ffmp pig which is we are going to go through this in this course i have some some information of the of the files for example here for example nice video uh, let's watch let us watch it for example and you can put a description and here you can set uh, some updates or whatever on this i mean visibility and then if i go in now in my videos i can see all the videos here i can edit the video again or even i can delete it which is which is going to go and delete the files as well in the back end now if i go to for example all youtube uh, for example and you can search for some videos let's assume lion from other you know channel if i go back and if you notice it's written you are not subscribed to any channel that's why there is basically if i'm su subscribed to any channel i can see all the videos related to this to this channel so for example let me just go and search again for lion and then i can go to this you know video and i can see the this is video now zero i can watch the video and after three seconds you know it should be registered as one view if i refresh it will not register as view but if i play it again then it will register as view and then if you notice here no subscriber for this channel but i can go and subscribe now there are two views i can like and dislike you know i can like the video here if you notice i can subscribe the channel so what happened if i subscribe now if i go to the home page i can see all the videos from this subscription so uh, one thing i would like also to see here for example uh, you know i go there and can also comment on this video you can say nice video video and just comment here and it will be immediately showing me and can reply and so on so if i'm logging in with this user owner for this if i go and log out now or maybe create one uh, new incognito window and go back and just log in okay now see if i'm not logged in immediately it will pull the videos from from the database all the videos see from four people or three people here like two videos from this channel one channel from this uh, you know uh, channel and so on so let me uh, log in with this guy and see if i log in okay Okay, if I go to now to my channel, I can see I have one subscriber, which is the one uh, just subscribe if you 
before in this video and if I go to all videos I have two videos here again I can delete and whatever I can play with the settings if I go to subscription again I'm not able to see anything but if I say I want to search something for view JS for example and one second if I go and select uh, learn or maybe the video I did not put anything because it will search the video but if I go to the database and refresh it here if I go to all videos the one I just this is a nice video the one which is uh, let's watch it okay nice video let's search this one I did not put the name as uh, as view but if I go and search okay I can find this one and then I can subscribe to it if I go back I can see the video with, with, which I'm subscribed to from this channel and maybe one more feature which is I want just to show you as well if I just uh, make this one little bit smaller for this video now it is already I think I'm mistaken it has some comments right so if I go to this video which is lion let me go back and search for this lion if I click on lion and then I can see this I can reply to this one and I can say I agree with you and then I comment so I can see you know uh, for example replies are hidden so if I click on view and then I can see the replies here also uh, even for reply you know when I want to reply I need to just to click on reply word and it will show me kind of similar to YouTube so this is I think kind of most of the features of uh, the course so let's see you there in the course and uh, learn I hopefully I hope it's, it is very useful for you the first part of this project is to create new Laravel project so I'm going to run Laravel new the name of the project I'm going to call it YouTube YouTube clone or U Y T dash clone so it will start and scaffold the project and meanwhile we can look at the UI we'll talk about the UI so as you know that the default front end comes with Laravel 8 is Tailwind CSS but I'm going to use Bootstrap because I want to focus on the back end mainly not to spend more time to fix uh, the UI because this project is mainly about the back end so once the project is completed so I'm going to CD change directory into YouTube clone dash clone I'm going to open it in you can open it in sublime text or in any code editor I'm going to use visual code so once the project is opened opened as you see here just I want to make sure that the database I'm going to configure my uh, the password so you can configure your password for your database or your SQL in your machine so this is the database already created in my SQL it's already created I'm using table plus so it is here ready for my migration but before that as you mentioned as I mentioned I'm going to use bootstrap I'm going also to scaffold the authentication or the views for authentication login reset password and register using Laravel UI package so the first step is going, I'm going to use I'm going to install it using composer require Laravel UI and then of course I'm going to select one of these configuration so I'm going to select the dash dash auth with bootstrap once that installation is completed so it is completed as you see so I'm going to run uh, the command so now I need to compile my assets so I'm going to run this commands which is basically npm install and then it will run the bm npm run dev after that I need to run the watch command so it will compile everything for me now if I go to the browser and then because I'm using valet I can use I used this uh, format white YouTube clone clone dash test so this is my application if I go to login of course you won't see the styles yet because the compil compilation is going on once completed we, we will be able to see all everything using the bootstrap and you can recognize it later so you can run your application like this if you are using valet 
if I using Homestead also you need to do your configuration but also you can use uh, PHP artisan serve or if you are using Windows also as well you can use uh, any solution like exam or whatever uh, solution for running your application which is out of scope for this course so once that's completed so I'm going to run also an NBM run watch so it will watch all the changes in my compilation and the assets so I'm going to refresh once this is completed you will be able to see the login and yeah this is built successful now so this is my registry login page and this is my registration so then I'm going to run PHP artisan uh, and the, I'm going to run the migration PHP artisan migrate just to make sure the migration is running of course we are going to change some of the migration tables later in this in the next video to make sure that the user will be able to select the channel as well see you there so in the last lesson we have installed Laravel and then we installed Laravel UI in this lesson we are going to focus to add one field for the channel so the plan in this course to basically when the user is, is doing the registration we need to add a channel name here so in order to do that we need to prepare our backend so we will go to the command line and then create one model using php artisan command php artisan command make make model model we call it channel and then we are going to go also create with it the migration and controller because we will need it later so once that's created we will jump up to the uh, to the create channel table and then we'll create some fields so we'll go to the visual code and search for the channel table and we are going to create some some fields here so in the channel we are we will you be using i mean we need first of all we need the user id uh, and signed big integer which is basically for the relationship between users and between uh, this channel the relationship will be one to one so in this course we will be doing only one channel per user but you can configure it as you want one to many for example but in this course the scope of course will have each user ha has only one channel so this is for the relationship and then i'm going to add another one which is basically the name of the channel so it'll be string name and also i'll have another one for description or uh, we'll do the slug oh, sorry it'll be for slug and then we'll do for i'll do another one for uid the plan here also i have one slug for the for the name of the channel and the user can modify the name and slug but i'm going to use uid only for some uh, requirements later in the course for when we're going to upload maybe the video videos and pictures we, i might use the uid as the name of that files so i don't want user to be um, changing it so also i need table text for description description this will be nullable it's not required and then i'm going to have another one for the image and this will be basically a simple string this also would be nullable i'm going to set also relationship which is basically foreign between the channel and between the user id between users and channels so user id column references id on table user users and then going to set the on cascade or on delete on cascade cascade delete so this is now my migration consists of these fields so let's go and run the migration using this command if i go now to the table and refresh it i'll make sure that the channels is there and we have all these columns ready now also i want to build um, i will jump and configure the relationship so it is ready for me in the model so the first thing i'm going to go into channel channel model 
not channel table channel model I'm going to sit here so you have two options for fillable fields which is the the fields that is allowed to be filled by user from the form for example either you set the fillable to be array and then you set the columns like for example name and whatever or you can select it the other way around using the protected protected uh, guarded guarded and set it to empty array i'm going to use this method or you can use the one which is fillable which is you need to um, set it protected this should be inside the class um, okay and also then i'm going to send the relationship which is basically the user so retain this belongs to or has one has has one which is basically channel class channel class so I'm, this should be user then sorry this is should be belongs to because the channel belongs to the user so I have set the guarded to be empty so we are ready to fill anything inside this the channel model and also I added one user model which is basically I can this is for the relationship between the user uh, between the channel and the user so the channel when I set the user then it will connect me to the user user class so we are ready here so let's jump to the user model and in the user model I'm going also to have I'm going to call the channel should be small and should be within this has one this should be channel so our relationship is ready so if I go to Laravel website relationships and we can confirm or can show you the relationship which is one to one we are going to use so for the channel for example the phone is has one this is the user has one channel for example so use the has one the class and for the inverse we are going to use the belongs to so we have setting this one so in the next video we are going to continue with the uh, registration form so before moving to the adding the form the column to the form i'm going to correct something here in the last video from the last video which is the spelling for description so it should be description like this description so i'm going to run also the migration again php artisan migrate rollback rollback and then i'm going to migrate again this table Okay, so this is done second step also I'm going to add something in this model channel model which is basically by default so the model binding in Laravel it will use the ID of the channel I'm going to use the the slug in this case so I need to add one method here called git route key name which is going to retain any column you want and in our case we will use the slug so these two changes I'm doing here so now let's jump to the views so we go to the view and then we'll add one column or one one field in the form this will be under resources views and under the auth and then register this is the form built in bootstrap so I'm going to add another one which is here the name and then the email address and then the password I'm going to copy this one the email and I'm going to change the field to reflect our changes this will not be the email so it will be channel channel name so I'm going to call channel name but in this the title I'm going to call, call it channel name ok 
Okay, so I have here the the label, channel name for the IDs. The channel name type is will be text, of course, and then here for the error, it will be channel name. I'm just reviewing it. The value channel name, and then everything just looks fine. For me, I'm, if I go to the to the browser and just refresh it. I will see the channel name here. So this is prepared now. The channel name will be sent, which is basically the channel underscore name. So now let's jump to the controller of this application when the registration is happening, which is basically will be under HTTP controllers, and then under the auth, there will be registration controller. So registration controller use the trace registered registers users. We are going to come back to this. So for validation, Here's the validators. And then here's the creation of the user. So if I jump to the, just the traits, you will see that basically the user is created here using this method, which is it will going to validate the request. And if everything is okay, then it's going to write, run. Of course, this is for the events we're not going to use, but they will be a user object created here and then it will be logged here so we need just to kind of create the user after this step okay under this step but let's do the validation first because we need to add one one more validation will be channel name channel name this will be required and there will be of course string and then minimum maybe eight we can set it or four and then let's add one more which is I want to be unique so this should be unique unique channel stable and channel stable and the name so this should be unique when I'm doing this one the first first time I want to make sure that this is unique in channels table the name column so this is the um, what we call the validation so next step, of course, when the user is, is created, let me just create, take this one outside here and just keep user as variable. We can put another statement up. And then let me just delete this one and this arrow here. So the user will be created. This is for Laravel. It will just create one event. It's not in our uh, scope here. So here we're going to create channel create channel so first because we have relationship I have user object and I'm going to call the channel and then through the relationship I'm going to create uh, run the create of course name will be the channel name will be request coming from the form channel name and then I will add one more basically or two which is one is the slug in the slug we can use the helper from Laravel which is basically string and then slug I'm going to keep uh, this one the request here and then the separator which is basically dash also I want one more which is the UID and this will be using the PHP unique ID I'll keep it true so it will give me more options or more characters instead of 13 characters so in order to use the string I believe we have to use the to add it from the support eliminate I think we should use it like this support eliminate uh, eliminate support and then there will be something called str string so string is added so we should be fine so let's give it a try and see what will happen so i'll go to this one I'm going to refresh i'm going to add one user of course the email and then let's say this is the channel name with the password okay and let's register so there is a problem add name to fillable to allow mass assignment in the channel so it's something wrong on the mass assignment that we did in the channel so I think this is should be fine to cover everything 
unless the spelling mistakes guarded so protected guarded should be fine let's try again and see this is already taken the username so I'm going to delete uh, the user from here and let's try again doing the registration so it's working fine so it was like a spelling mistake so if I go now to the database and check so I have the username I have the channel also if you notice the username user ID is 2 and the ID for the user is 2 so everything is working fantastic since we are going to, to use Livewire in our project let's get Livewire installed in our project to go forward because I'm going to in the next step basically we are going to edit the channel we'll, we'll provide the ability to the user to edit the channel whether the name, slug, description and so on and then also we are going to use the file upload which is basically an avatar for the channel so let's get this out of our way Livewire is basically something that you can use instead of using the JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript or Vue, React in your project or uh, jQuery. It's kind of doing it like in a server side. You'll, it looks like a server side, but it will do the back end for you. It will send uh, the Ajax request, Ajax request to the back end. It's kind of very simple when you start using it. So you can go to the documentation, of course, but in our case, we'll go to the docs and then we'll start installing it so for the installation we're going to use the composer required live wire slash uh, backslash live wire we'll go to our terminal or and we're going to install it so once that installed also we need to publish the configuration so we need to add also live wire styles of live wire scripts in the app on the app play or on the template or the main template in our project there is two ways you can do either with this uh, format I've at livewire styles at livewire scripts or you can do with this format also it is all possible so let's before that uh, let me just publish the configuration so if you need just go there and publish the configuration so the configuration is published instead in, in case we need to modify anything this is if you want to change the assets we're not going to touch it so the next step is basically to go to that live wire styles or the main template in our project and we add live wire styles in the head and live wire script before the body so let's go there okay so we'll go to the views under the layout this is our main template and we are going to use this under the before the head we can say live wire styles and before the body we will add also live wire scripts so we are ready now so if you want to install the component now it's ready but we need to test it so we can install the component by using the BHP artist in command live wire live live wire and or sorry it's make live wire and then you can put the uh, the name of the component so we can start putting this under the channel for example folder and then we can say edit edit channel so I'm going to create we can mention here for yes or no for the stars and the github but basically it will create two files for you one is that is the class and one is the view the class is basically to has the properties that will be passed to the to the view and then you can show the properties as in the on the uh, on the view so if we go to this class now just to test it you can go to it will be under HTTP and then there will be live wire this is the class now it is has render mount render only we can for example here just for testing purposes and this we can create one public method called name for example and then this name will be automatically in, inserted on the render for this view in the live wire and we can use it let's say name is equal for example Ahmed 
So this should be now logically is valuable in this template and this template will be under the of course the views and then it will be under live wire and then edit we can hear it only like we do normally in the blade like this so it'll be like this now in order to test this we need to make a route of course so let's make one test route let's make one test route here let me delete everything here and then we can say route route get test and then we can do closure here because I would like to just test uh, the view within view another I will make another also test and I will include the template inside test so I'll go to the views and then I'm going to create this.blade.php of course I'm going to copy maybe from home everything go to the test and then we gonna include here inside the I'm going to delete everything inside the body of or I'm going to delete everything inside the car I'm sorry inside the body okay and here I'm going to include the template so in, in order to include the template we can mention mention it like this live live wire and then the name of the template which is basically channel dot dot edit channel this is the name of the folder and this is the name of the template we can mention it like this if we go back to our project and we run let's run test and see so unable to find component channel so it looks that it cannot find this one if we go to our project and see what's going on we this is it looks fine here but if we go to the template live wire of course I did one mistake here because it does not create the folder here so I'm going to delete this one and delete everything this is good at happening so we can learn about this one so we can go back and create again this one and then we can do the backslash again so it will create the folder let's make sure that the folder is created now and now it should be working fine if we go to the to live wire and then channel channel under channel then we have this component edit channel so if we go back and see do refresh then this is working fine but it's not printing the name so if we go yeah of course because that was deleted so again I'll go to the edit channel and then I'm going to pass one property here called public public name equal Ahmed for example this should be available in our template again so now it will be available in our template and we can just pass it like this maybe h1 and we can pass the name okay and then everything should be working fine now as you see here so we could bind the name also we could bind to the to the input as we will see uh, in the next video when we'll do the edit form for the channel so it's very simple just install it and in let's go and summarize that what we did here we just install the live wire component we add it to the main template and then we include if we go also here how to render the components we render it this way and also there is another way you can do it with the at rate but we, we we use this one so we can also pass the properties as we will see on the next videos before moving and enable the edit form and add the form here for editing the channel I think it will be good to have more example of properties or model binding or data binding in live wire so we are going we are going to make some examples here so as we have seen on the edit channel class we have a property called name and also we have a render function which is basically render the view in this view also we are already we already just printing or echoing the name so let's assume that I want to make an input here and and in this input I'll, I want to bind it with the model with the model called or the property called name so in this case we are using something called wire format and then model and then we give it the name of property which is basically in this case is the name so this is like something like in view if you're coming from view 
then you can use like V model, V model or V text and so on. So this is similar approach from also LiveWire. So if I go now to the project and then refresh, then we're going to see like a model binding here. And if I change something, then of course it's going to, to be changed. So another example I would like to see also to, to, uh, to show here is let's assume that I have a form. I have form here and I want to function to submit action submit. In this case, I'm not going to use the action. I'm going to use wire and then submit dot prevent. And then the name of the function there, let's assume it's called submit, which it should be in the class. So I'm going also to move this one inside it. And then I'm going to add here the button for submit uh, type submit and then we can call it submit but now we need to build this method inside the class so let's assume we will build the method here called submit and then we can do dd for example die dump something is like submit submitted so let's go to the to the site and uh, just refresh it so I have submit here, if I click there, then the value is submitted or uh, a DD. And it's, you can see it is like a pop-up for uh, LifeWire different than Laravel, which is basically it will print inside the page itself. So there are a lot of things. You can go to the documentation like actions, events, lifecycle. We're gonna touch, uh, touch some of them like validation of the form, file upload mainly in this course, but there are a lot of things that you can do in LifeWire. Now we are going to start doing the routing, which is basically um, I need to go to the edit form for the channel. So we will start from the routing. We will go to the code. Inside the code, we are going to make one new route here, but we will make it like in a group. So we will do the uh, route and then we'll add middleware auth because I want this to be restricted. Then I'm going to use group. Inside the group, we're going to use the function or enclosure enclosure inside the closure we are going to add the edit so in this case i want route get then i'm going to put the channel slash then this will be should be channel which is basically the slug and then inside that one i'm going to write edit so if this is something the user is visiting this route then i'm going to add the video controller or channel controller sorry channel i'm going this this is a new lava eight then i need to put it in array so it be channel controller this is under http controller controllers channel controllers so it will be added here or you can add it online then add the class after that the function should be added in this class which is we are going to build and i'm going to name it like channel channel dot edit so this route is ready now for me. I'm going to go to the channel controller. Channel controller, I'm going to build this function. I have shortcut here, so it will be edit. In this one, I'm going to accept the channel as model binding. I'll give it a variable channel. And then I will retain a view, which is we are going to build also. So retain view will create one folder under the view called channels dot edit or we can keep it channel dot edit and I will pass through compact function channel so after the model binding I will get the channel and I will send it to this channel dot edit so we'll go to the views under the resources views i'm going to create one directory called channel under channel sorry this is wrong i'm going to rename it channel and then we'll add edit dot blade dot php so here of course i'm going to use something from the home for example as a template and then of course we'll say here inside the body let's print something from channel name for example 
so this is the should be working now until the view but later I want to load also the live wire so let's go now and test this one but I'll go to the database first I'll take the let me just try this one the channel now the slug is this one let's go there and then put channel slash slug slash edit this is working then route register group does not exist so this looks like a spelling mistake inside inside the routing so let's go yeah this is group should be group so let's go back and see if this is it will work and yes so it is working so i'm printing the core set which is basically the line from uh, from the controller but i want to load now i want to pass this channel also to the live wire so i have more dynamic in my view so there is a way inside my form this means let me close the home so instead of loading this one i need to just load let me inside this one body i'm going to load live wire so i can use this format live wire the name of the of the live wire which is under the channel live or edit slash channel and then i can bind one format which is basically uh, one property sorry channel equal channel this way so in this case i'm loading the live wire channel and then also i'm passing the channel inside the view so before doing that let me remove this one and just load the live wire channel edit to make sure it's it's working so now it is empty correct so let's make sure that we add something here inside the live wire channel edit and just put test here to make sure it's working so i'm loading this one uh, so it looks is not loading this so this is wrong so this will be live spelling mistake live sorry live wire now if i'm loading it again so i should see test so it is working fine so we are just spending with one more uh, step which is passing the channel as property to to the channel class or edit channel class which is this one basically so in do uh, in order to to do that i need to add public property called channel and also i want to accept it through the function mount channel as also type of channel then channel that i'm getting from the view and then let me just add the class here the models up should be app models channel and then i'm going to set this one so it should be this in the, like it's an, a constructor this is the channel equal channel that i'm getting through, through mount so now i can use the channel inside live wire edit so i can use this one if it's working fine then i should accept it as channel dash name so what we are doing basically we are passing the channel that i'm getting from controller to my class and my class will set it inside channel property which is basically as we said anything as public property should be a valuable through render then it's it's a valuable here this one way to do it doing it in live wire so let's go there if everything is fine i should see the name of the channel here so there is a problem use undefined constants channel assumes channel so let's go and see what's going on this is in edit plate views edit plate so channel let's go and see channel so this is wrong channel so now channel should be a variable now and just go and refresh and again assume channel the version
so let's go and check the view here oh sorry the normal view so i'm passing is a channel should be adding dollar sign here so let's save it and go and refresh it now and it is working fine so everything in the routing now it's working fine this is one way of doing it there is a direct binding from the controller here uh, this is in version 2 in live wire we can do it through the web if we go to the web routes we can map directly the channel without controller we can pass the channel directly to controller but we need to edit also a layout which is i don't want to do in this course i want normal flow we can so we can focus on the main target of this of this course so after building the routing now it is time to edit or make the edit form so the channel is coming from the, the form itself from the edit plate to the edit plate for the live wire so first of all we are going to build form but instead of action normal action and post we are going to use wire submit because we are using live wire so submit dot prevent the normal behavior of form submit prevent and then equal to the for example a function called update in the class which we, which we are going to build so first of all we are going to make div and this div of course we are going to have form group which is basically a bootstrap class for when building a for uh, when building a form so first of all we'll have label the label will be for name name of the channel and the input will be of course text i'm not i don't have uh, i don't want for example the name and i don't want also the id i will again do the wire model with a property called name in this case which is I'm going I'm going to get from the the class so this is the first one and then of course we need to add also form control just to make it nicer using the bootstrap if I save this one now and go first to the edit class and the channel is I have the channel here so I think it will it will give me an issue let's see because okay now it's it's working fine but of course it'll give me issue because there is no um, it cannot find the name which is we need to build it also and do the uh, from the form I think. so we can say channel dot name let's see if to work now so if I do this way again without validation so we have to do the validation this is the issue with uh, it's not an issue but it's a configuration for uh, Life wire, but just to make it fine, I'm going to leave. I'm going to to make it like name, just to make sure that we are going to build it here. I will leave the name. So let's build everything, and then we'll come to the validation. So let's me do the other one, which is basically the description. So this will be slug, and then again i'm going to build another one for description description but in this case we are going to have a text area again i don't want the name i don't want the id okay and then i need this one i will need i will remove the name and id i'll keep it as four rows and then again also i need to add the class and this one so class form control if i refresh now and i have name slug and description disappeared description so after that the description also i want uh, the submit submit will be normal submit button so it'll be button submit type submit update i will add class also btn btn primary primary it's a bootstrap class again refresh so we have this information now ready so we are ready but i want to add also in the navigation i want to add a route here it will take me to this route so i'll go to the documentation it is in under the app if we go to the views under the layout app we go down 
all the way and then okay should be here so this should be here of class class drop down dash item again this should be test if we go and refresh so it should be test here now just I want to make it as a route we know that we have a name a name for this route so we can go and say for the href can say route channel dot name dot uh, edit and then we need to pass the channel which is basically an array uh, this one because we have a relationship we then can do auth auth user we get the user and then we can get the channel out of that so if I refresh now and go back and see if this works okay it disappeared so this is will be the name of the channel here and again I'm going to get the name of the channel by doing same thing here channel.name go and refresh now if I go to edit it will take me to this page so if I go home for example and then go to the profile or the user drop down go to the name of the channel it will give me to this uh, edit page so what we did basically is just calling the current authenticated user and then get the channel and pass it as variable because for the route uh, model binding and then here I'm just displaying because of the relationship one to one I can get the user the channel for the user and can access the name this is what we did basically so in the next video we'll do the validation and then we can call uh, the data because in live wire we need to make the validation so we can tighten or get the property in this case if you want to do the channel.name channel.slug and so on so in this lesson we are going to do the validation also we are going to pull the values as we mentioned by live wire documentation in order to bind the model directly we have to make sure that the validation is fixed or validation is is configured this is so this is what we are going to do so in the live wire under http channel edit channel we are going to add protected protected property protected protected property called rules and this is will be now for as an array we are going to mention few things here so the first thing will be channel dot name this should be required and also max for example 255 similar to Laravel validation normal valid Laravel validation we are going to bring the slug as well and description of course we will need more rules later but we're going to experiment this one first so as you, as you see from the edit form we have we have to submit to the edit update function so we need to make also update function and then we update function and also we need to run the validation here so this validate validate to be able to run the validation in the form itself we have to then bind this one using wire model and then the name of the property property channel dot name i'm going to copy this one and then go to the other property which is slug and then finally description description so if I refresh now I should be able to bring the properties here as you know that there is no uh, description here and then if I say update of course there will be some errors here which is I think about description so let's assume that in the validation we can modify the description should because it is not required so in this case uh, we can do something like it is nullable 
it is nullable so it will be not required but when it is coming then I want the maximum for example 1000 characters let's say here be maybe okay everything's okay then we can die dump okay so let's go and refresh so it is okay but we need to add more rules as we as we mentioned which is basically this should be not uh, repeated and uh, on the table channel table but before that let me finish the form so we add some you know that at error so when there is an, a problem we can mention at error and error and we can put some alert here so when there is an error of channel dot channel channel dot channel dot name sorry about that channel dot name then what I want to print I want to put print span for example uh, or maybe alert div alert sorry it'll be alert of class alert alert danger and then we can print here the message which is basically uh, the message so when, when there's a problem in that so let's test this one if this it will work or not so this is required now so there is a problem here this field is required so let me just copy this one everywhere and then here should be slug and here should be description here will be description so everything is okay so if this is okay then what some we are going to do which is basically we are going to update the channel so we'll go to the edit channel and we will add here the what we need to do so channel this channel update and then we'll put the properties so the properties will be as follows first one will be name and the name should reflect or get the name of the channel from these properties this channel name and then repeated this one for the slug and again for description description and after that we are going to retain back retain back but before that we need to add session we will add something on the session so we can have something sort of message that it is updated so I'm going to use also a live wire flash message and then we can say channel updated so I have uh, okay so there's something here wrong session flash okay this should be here this is not an array so it has to be with comma so like this so we're gonna update it but before that i will add some validation so we need to have some validation which is basically this should be unique so this one this channel should be unique so i'm going to add unique on channel and the column is name but because i want to concatenate this one with an ID I need to access the property in the channel for the channel ID or the user ID uh, sorry channel ID so because I want to exclude the current uh, current what we call a channel so this will not work like this so we have to transfer this one as a function so we are going to use this one should be public or protected we can say pro protected pro protected function we call it rules and then this should be like this I'm going to delete and we are going to have this as an array again okay this should not be a variable also because name of function before that I will retain an array 
and this array will include same validation but at this time i'll be able to access the channel because i want to exclude if someone named his channel with certain name he will be able to save it with the same name that's why we are excluding here and this is common way in laravel it's the same thing nothing is new in, in laravel or the again for a slug will be again slug i want slug also like this so i think we should be fine now and so if someone is saving then everything should be okay the flash message also will implement it in the later so let's test this one let's say one two three one two three dash one two three and then update then best uh, base table or clone channel does not exist so something wrong in the channel okay so let's go and check what's going on so we'll go to the code and check the table name of the table maybe it could be wrong so unique in channels so it could be this error so let's go and refresh again and let's save one two three one two three one two three so it is like this so let's go to the database and see what's going on here we refresh it and see the update is going on yes so update is working fine so why not just keep flash message also here so we are going to set the flash message down under maybe the this one so if at if session session has message if we have a message and if and if then let's print something dot alert dot alert success bootstrap classes success and then we're gonna print session of message so we make sure that it is printing uh, or seeing this the message so let's go and test it again refresh okay go back and refresh go to the same thing and then we we'll see one two three okay and update so session is updated but the class is not working so there must be something wrong here okay success the class was wrong for success so when i refresh now and I update i can see now the class is working there's one problem now if i update the channel again and then refresh you will notice it's because the url is not changing it will tell me that uh, the page is not found so we can fix this one very simple by uh, redirect to the route so redirect and then redirect and then route the name of the route is channel.edit as we know and then we can pass the channel here and then it should be this channel and then we know that model binding is working with the slug as we configure it in the channel uh, on the channel so this should be an array i believe yes so now if we go back now and just try again let's go back one more and refresh the page go to the to the course site and then we can put new name copy this one and then copy this one etc and update so the update is working here and also if you notice know, slug is working fine now if i refresh so everything is okay so now it's working fine so if i log in i have created another one uh, with the name ali so make sure that we cannot create another channel i already create one account with channel ali so if i say course at for example and I update so I know that uh, this is, is not going to work because of my validation is working fine same thing for here if I put more than 1000 collector it will not work before jumping to image upload I would like to fix something here basically authorization now currently I'm logged in with this user this is my channel but I can 
easily go to the other channel for other user from here if I know the slug and I'll be able to update for example the channel name and this is not uh, it's not something good so we are going to use authorization basically we're going to create a policy and then also we need to do it in we can add it easily here for example like uh, here this is authorized and we'll give it the action and then we are going to send the channel so in order to do that we're gonna create a policy through the command php artisan make policy policy called channel policy policy so we'll create this channel of course if you go to the laravel documentation then for creating any policy if you go to generating policy also you need to add it in auth service provider so we are going to do also this one so we'll go to to providers and we'll go to auth service providers and then under policies here we're gonna maybe remove the comments we are going to add class here like channel policy 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 like this class and this should be app policies model policy so once we add it here so we should be able to do, do it so we can go to the policies now and modify the policy so basically here what we are going to do maybe we don't want the constructor right now but we're gonna create a method here called for example edit and we will receive here user of course this will be automatically coming and then channel we're going to send it this is channel so we are going to retain this is, should be valid okay when the user this or user id user id equal for example to channel user id so if this is equal that's mean that i am the user or the current logged in user is the owner of this uh, channel and he should be able to to modify it so once we do this so we go to the to the live wire channel and then edit and we are going to do authorization here as we saw in the documentation if you remember here in the documentation we should do this one so we're going to send our this to authorize we'll send the action basically the update and the name of the channel or the channel itself so before the update also we need to make sure also that this authorize and this should be update and then we're going to send this channel So if everything is fine, you should be able to prevent the other users from modifying this. So we'll go back to refresh. Let's test it with my own, like I'll put one here and then update. So and then author, authorize does not exist. So we'll go back to the documentation. It mentions also here we need to add something that rates authorization request. So we'll go to the commentation to the sorry the the class itself and then we can mention here the trait or use authorization request or use authorization request. So it'll be also this one we need to add it like from here. And then we should be fine now. Let's go back and then do one more update make sure that i am logged in with my channel and then i'll be able to update it so this action is unauthorized so let's go to the policy and check i think there's something wrong with the policy so see i am just putting something wrong here this should be channel policy policy and also here should be the model so channel class also we can put this one as a class here we can put 
channel policy and then class but we need to make sure that here the channel model is under app models and the policy under policy and now should be fine so let's go back and refresh so again this is a problem so there is still the error so let's go back to the code and check we'll go to okay to the edit and this authorize update but if we go to the policy you'll see it is called edit so this should be the same update so if I go now and then everything is okay then yes I'm able to update this channel which is I'm owner of this channel so let's assume I go to another channel which is I'm not owning I'm trying to do the some update so it will give me this one is not authorized so this action is not authorized so authorization is working fine so we can move ahead so finally we are going to update or upload the image for the channel so in order to do that so we will start by going to the to the template or the view and we're gonna add one input file which is basically after the description so we are going to add, copy this one or copy okay this is the error complete description and with this case it will be image and this will be image this will be input file we will call it image but we don't want the name and id as we using live wire but we are going to wrap it with image for example property which is we are going we are going to create on the class so we have this input now as type and here we can just add error for the image because it will be separate it's not under the channel so and that's it so we have an image i think we don't want we don't want uh, the label so it will become much better so we have the image now so let's now let's go to the class and then we can add one more treat with file upload with file uploads from live wire so this state will help us to upload the file so we should be added also here as live wire backslash with file uploads and then we are going to add one more property called image which is we are going to receive on bind with the view and we'll do one also validation for the image also it will be nullable it's not required but should be an image we can set also the max if we want like max maybe 1024 and then we will have one more function for the upload or we can keep it on the update itself we're gonna check here we will check check if file is submitted or image is submitted and then we'll upload if so so we can do if this image then we are going to do the upload so save the image save the image so first of all we can do one variable here if you want to receive the path image equal this image we can use store as function this will receive images which is directory under the default uh, file system storage system with the second argument will be this channel and then we are going to use the uid i'm going to bind it with dot png because we are going to use image intervention to then encode the picture or the image into png later on so now after saving this file so let's go and test this one now if it's work before we going deep so I'm going to refresh, select the file. Let's assume doing any download here. Example this file and doing the update. 
then let's go to to the storage and check the file it will be down under the storage then under the storage we should have something under the app images and then here we go so the picture is updated and also we have the uid is there with dot png so this one is achieved so second one after saving the file i want also to update the file path in the database so we can do this channel update update and then we can do also the path should be image and then we can give maybe the image here so we have the image we can update the image let's go to the database and check also the channel and go to the structure and we can see the images here so currently for this user first number two the channel is we go to data this is the channel so we can see the image later updated here so let's go and try again i will do the update and i'm going to select the same file and then update go to database and then refresh then i have the image of course it will be with the the path so now we have many options here maybe we can leave it like this maybe we can remove the file maybe we can use the uid and we don't want this image uh, column it depends on the design of this and the structure of the database and how the business logic that you want to achieve so for me maybe i can remove this one by using some functions of php like explode or because i know it is the same as uid maybe i need, even i can ignore it completely so this this is a decision need to be made i mean when you design the database and the project overall so the update is working fine i mean uploading the file now there is a new feature um, new feature or a, there's a feature basically on to view if you go to the file uploads in the live wire we can do the temporary view of the uh, file so we can do something like temporary url like this and we can view so if there is an image selected then we can view it so we can do this one the user will upload the file and if someone is working with javascript he i mean knows it takes a lot of time to implement that but it's amazingly simple when you do it in live wire so we can do one more after this input for example this is the error for the image but i can have one div here with form group for example empty and just image preview now let's see if we can do now uh, let me go to the file a project update and then there is something wrong uh, undefined variable photo of course because i'm doing image my name is image so it will be image here and here it will be image so if i go and refresh now so then we should be fine if i select any file now and let's assume this file i can of course it will be very big now but i can achieve some bootstrap styling uh, through this is the file we can add one class called image and then some thumbnail so this will make it small see again upload so it's kind of small i can see it before uploading and then i can do the update of course and it will be update the file and then we can show it here also after the image intervention and the next from the next video we'll add image intervention so we can resize the file so in this lesson the main objective is to resize the image using the image intervention intervention package but before that i will change the name of the app which is i forget from the previous lessons should be changed so if we go to the code and then we go to the env file then we're gonna change the name like youtube dash dash clone so once we do that and refresh to restart because we changed the env file and then we go again and the name is changed so 
uh, we will configure or install this package which is basically will provide us the ability to uh, do some resizing and also some converting of the image to to the format png so if we go to the installation we're going to require through composer so we'll go to the either we go to the visual code or we go to the command line so composer require image intervention and once that installed also we have to do some configuration which is basically if we go to the Laravel side we have to go to the provider which is config uh, inside config app.php we'll go to config app.php we go to the providers down we need to add this line for image intervention And also we have to add the facade, which is basically image. So we'll be able to use it through the facade anywhere. Aliases, we go here and just put it here. So we have added these things. And then also we can publish the configuration using this command as well. And then we go back and okay. So the configuration also published inside this the configuration folder so we are ready with these things so the first thing we have to check if the image is available or not in the blade or in the template so we can display it here but before that as well we said we're gonna do the resizing of the image so inside the class if we go to the live wire channel and edit here here we are going to do the conversion so we'll do the image conversion after uh, getting the file so we can also grab the image name we can say image name explode because this is will be an array and the partition for this will be backslash i mean from here if you notice that when we store it in the database for the file we mentioned the previous it will be like this with the folder name so we will get only the name we could do this one through the export method explode and then the image and then we'll take the first item or the second item which is basically the name of the image so this one the image name and then after that we'll do the converting so we'll take the image resize and convert to png if we go to the site we can go to the image intervention we go to the fit function here and this what is going to go into crop and resize the the image we will use this function at the end I hope it's clear here which is basically it will fit with a certain size and then it will retain a constraint which is basically it will retain the maximum original size of the image using the up size so this is what we are going to use if we go back so the first thing we need to get the image so we can say image equal image facade and then make storage bath then we can concatenate with app so we can get the folder name and then the image which is we get it from the previous we call it the image which is the folder with the folder this is if we want to install it of course installed and in the or updated on the database so we'll get the image but we need to use the image here facade image like this so once we get the image then we will do the encoding so we'll do the encoding or we don't want to ink in this one so we'll do encode to png as well as we will do the fit the command or the function fit we mentioned in the from the this line we can take this one fit and then we can copy it here so we'll fit by 80 let's go by 80 by 80 so this is the image then it will change it and then we're gonna save it so we can save the image like this or we can save the image only without the folder I prefer maybe this way because in the future if you want to have some idea about or different way of restoring the image then you are going to use this way so it will only the, store the image 
so let's go and try this one we'll go and do something like could be this image and then update so if we go to the storage right now and then go down storage so we have the image and then we can just open it in images so resizing is not working so this must be something wrong still the image is big so if we go to the code and check it looks that I forget to save the image here so we have to add the save and let's go back and check again on the site let me refresh go back select the same image to overwrite it of course to the update we go to the because I'm open from the finder so hopefully this will be now small so small size so this is working fine so next step I want to show the image here if, the, if there is an image I would like to show it here also up so we'll go to the command uh, to the to the visual code and also go to the I mean the form and we inside the form we can keep something like it will check if the image is there or not then it will it will display it so we can go even before the before the form and just do the if statement if channel image is there and then end if let's do something like image and inside the source of course I'm going to do some links here but I will show asset uh, images we will do how we'll check how we can do that through the sim links so we can concatenate then we can see the channel image image like this so and if here so we will we will add we will have to also make sure that this link is also included in the public folder through the file system we can configure that if we go to the file system file system and inside the link or this one we have to do the storage we need to add something for the images so images we can do app inside app images okay so images folder it will map it to the app images anything inside the public folder images then it will take the storage path app images if we go to our form we'll say it also asset images and then inside this one we have to do the backslash of course and backslash should be like this and then the channel image if we notice also here I refresh then the image without the folder that's why we are making it this way here so but we need to uh, in order to do that we need to do the link I think uh, we have to publish the link or storage link we can see storage link if I'm not mistaken so the link is created so we can go now and refresh hopefully it work so something wrong in the explore expecting this one okay something wrong on I think I put here one extra comma so now it should be fine let's refresh so I have the image here so my image is there and then everything is fine so if I include also another image which is basically Laravel image for example and then update then and if I go to fresh then this should be also refreshed if I go back to the course at and then it will refresh sometimes take some time I think because of the caching but the image is updated so after finishing the channel settings we were able to do the update for the name slug description we could also do the live wire upload for imaging so in this section we are going to focus on the video so we have to prepare our database we'll create a model for video plus migration also we need to add one icon here for uploading the file so we will able to do the upload plus also we need to prepare our 
project to make sure that it get, it can run jobs as well as doing Laravel. So this is the preparation uh, for this work. So let's get started by doing, first of all, we are going to do the creating the model. We are going to doing the PHP artisan make model. We will call it video. And then we also, we, we will create migration and controller with it. So after doing that, we will jump into the table, video table. We are going to create few fields here. So we, we so we'll be able to use the file upload. So the, the first thing we need to us, uh, create is unsigned big integer, which basically uh, it will be for the, our relationship between the channel and and the video. So one channel can have many videos. It will be one to many. Also, we are going to create one string for title and also we need to create one for text text for description description and this will be nullable nullable field then also we need to create one for also will be type of string will be uid this will be not nullable, this required will create while creating of the video. The other one will do the path. We might need the path also for for the video. Initially it will be nullable. We will do required also a string for processing or process file. Process file. After we're doing the processing, we will require the name of the process file. And then we need also another one, which is we'll make sure that uh, it is enough for feasibility, whether it is public or or it is uh, private and so on. Feasibility. And it'll be, it has three values. One is public or private. Private. Private then public and unlisted similar to YouTube unlisted and default for that will create default value pub, uh, private also we will need some boolean table boolean values one will be processed to make sure that this is process or not. Default is, is false. I will require also for later for allow likes and allow comments. We might come back to this migration and recreate or add or remove some uh, fields, but this is what I'm seeing right now we are going to use. And then we need another one for string as well as string. It will be processing percentage percentage. And I think that's it. So for now, we also need to create some database uh, relationship for in which is channel ID is normal relationship references ID on table table or on basically we would we don't specify table name just channels and then on delete cascade so I think we are done with this migration we can run the migration PHP artisan migrate if everything is okay then the migration will be created we can see it in the database as well I have video here so next step I would like to go to the channel model and do the relationship so we will have one relationship for videos which is basically to retain retain this has many has many than video model class 
so each channel has many videos and the inverse will be going to the video model and then well, let's go to the protected verse protected uh, for mass assignment protected guarded equal empty so everything is accepted here and then we can create the, the relationship channel in this case we are going to retain retain this belongs to channel then class so make sure that channel is there also and also I would like to add one more okay I think I removed one I would like to add also if we go to the channel we need to add also one get route key name similar to this function and this and for the video will make it with UID not with the slug we didn't add slug for video but you can do so if you want so we are prepared now everything for relationship and also we created the table so the next step I believe we need to prepare our database for queuing to accept queuing so if you go to the Laravel website for uh, queues if you search for queues then we can go and check here creating of queues under database there are many options but we are going to use database so we need to prepare our database by running the command php artisan queue table so it will generate some two tables i believe for using the queues and then php artisan migrate if we go to the database and check we'll notice there will be jobs and failed jobs added to our uh, two tables added to our database so i think this is what we need for this lesson uh, we will move ahead for the preparing also the upload form for the video in the next coming uh, lessons so in this video we are going to do a little bit of setups so we're gonna add material css for the icons because i want to put one icon here to when i click on it it will take me to the to a view or component live wire component so i will be able to upload a video also we are going to add albine js which is a very basic javascript library it takes i mean the idea of vue.js if you're coming from vue.js but in very simple way and it works hand in hand with livewire because they are from the same creator so we're gonna add that one as well and one thing i would like to mention because in the in the previous lessons what when we have the channel modification and we added live wire component i mentioned there's a way that we we are taking the data from or the route it's coming from the route then it goes to the view and then view i mean i passing passing something to the controller there is a controller here in between if i add controller uh, controller so it comes like this so this one will be the data i mean the first thing it will come from the route it goes to controller and then controller will fetch the data it will pass it if i delete this one it will pass it to the view and the view with the component uh, let me just connect this one so this is the flow from the route controller view live wire and this is just to understand the flow of the data but there is something interesting in live wire which is can bind directly which is called uh, full page a binding or rendering so it's coming from the route directly to the live wire component a live wire component can then take the data through i mean um, the data from the database using the eloquent queries and then pass it directly to the component and this is what we are going to do going forward with the video edit video create and showing all videos plus video show or play so this is the plan so let's get started so first of all we'll go to the the main i would st i will start with the routes we'll make one group of routes which is basically similar to this one but it will be mainly for the views i would like to prepare this one but let me go to the middleware auth and then create one function and it will be something like let me open it completely so it will be route get videos 
videos and then channel create so this is one route I will just for a moment I will make it as comment and then I'm going to my uh, terminal I will create few live wire components so as we saw like by HP artisan make live wire then we'll mention the route I think we'll make it under video this time and then we'll start with create video this is one component I will create all of them so edit edit video and then also I'll I'll make one show video we might use it later and then last one will be all videos all videos so I have created all of these so now let's go back to my routing and make live wire videos channel create it will instead of this class it's basically is going to I will remove everything here see the difference and then I will say create create video so it will if it will add the create video class if you go it is added or not create video yes from live wire video live so it is creating this one this one will be video video dot create so just preparing everything so when we do the uh, front end it'll be easy for us then I'm going to copy this one this time will be view channel and then I would like to get the video so because I would like to edit and it will go to edit video and video dot edit and let me do also video channel only which is basically it will take all videos this is for index page and we can mention it maybe video at all or video dot index uh, let's make it all right now so there is no controller in between we should be fine now if everything working fine and let's go to the app dot plate which is the main app and I would like to add something I mentioned here just a button but I will add few things like you know because I'm using I'm going to use this icon I will add material CSS like so copy this one the C CDN we're going to use the CDN so in this video we're going to do some lot some of uh, what we call it uh, setups so let me copy it again and go back this will be material eyes CSS or icons material icon material icons do that and also I will add because I'm since I'm here let me add a CDN for Albine JS so I'll copy this one you can keep it on the head as well you can mention this is Albine JS okay and copy this one paste Alpine yes so I add Alpine CSS now I should be able to use the icons so where I want to keep it actually under this is the guest once the guest is done so we're gonna start if register and then end if I think should be here so let's do one li with the class nav item okay and I think we should do also another one which is nav link so if I start with a with class nav link and say test let's see whether it will work fine here or not yes it's okay now so I will use the video underscore call let me copy this one and go back and keep it here oh sorry because I need to add dev here or span called material material dash icons should detect it this way let's see if it works or not here we go so when I click on this one I want to go basically to a route this route called from video dot create and just go there and I don't want to pass anything except the channel 
so the channel how can I get the channel so channel basically I will create one array here or called channel and then I'll pass as you know that the auth user why it's not detecting uh, okay so okay so it'll be auth user and then because of the relationship i can get the channel like this but i think something wrong here because this should be detected as a code or okay yes i got it i forget to make this and this way so i am passing the channel with this and should be working fine so let's go but i think we will miss something in the uh, on the layout which is we are going to talk about so when i click here it goes to the create but we are not seeing create now let's make something very simple on the create so we'll go we know that from previous uh, videos that now if i am here for example and create and if i am passing a variable let's assume that let's make make sure that this is working i can say public um, channel for example on name name i'm passing my name for example now this should be going even i'm okay my name this should be in the create now if i go in the the other one which is the view for this component under live wire views and then so create so let me under each one i print my name like this if this works fine okay name like this so let's go and see i think it will not work if we go to the documentation of livewire if we if we want to do this full page rendering then we have to do something called to be able to use the the normal uh, content in if we go in the the blade main blade here the content normally comes under the yield content so to be able to do that we have to do something on this live wire we have to extend sorry we have to extend the main layouts.app so we have to do this way or there's another way also they mentioned let's let's try this one to work or not extends and let's refresh so this is working fine now there is another way just to to be aware that you because by default it will look for a slot okay so full page rendering mentioned here that it will look for a slot so i can replace that with slot but because i'm using that for other stuff it will make an issue so i can add it as optionally here or i can do for example another layout you can create layout at base and then put it with with this option layout it's very flexible or a slot main if you want also a layout and then slot main and inside layout but i want to make it simple so i going forward i'm trying to make this one working with the content itself so just before closing this one let me go to the other which is basically this one and show as well so it should be all working fine doing this way so from next video we're gonna create the form or prepare the form for our uh, uploading the video